Nick, about large crowds, sports stadiums without fans, no large concerts or festivals. All these things were now becoming acceptable as we navigate through these unprecedented times. But another often overlooked warning could be helping to fan the flames of this virus's impact. 44 News reporter Tyler Druin joining us right now in the studio to explain how small gatherings are now contributing to the rising cases. Well, good evening, Brian. State health officials have determined through contact tracing that close gatherings with friends or family are responsible for the recent uptick in COVID-19 cases here in the tri-state. I'm a little nervous a little bit of time because I travel so much back from Michigan to Evansville and all over the country doing work. As the holiday season approaches, more families will spend time together. Oh, usually we always get together for Thanksgiving, Christmas, just hang around the family. We just like to have one big family gathering. Those families oftentimes letting their guard down, spending time with their relatives. Top health officials have recommended Americans rethink their holiday plans. Those events are the very events that turn out to be big contributors to our positive cases. Local health leaders say it's better to do small gatherings with only immediate members of your household or with relatives virtually. They also recommend watching sporting events on TV or online. Well, my dad has had two kidney transplants uh, in the past 25 years, so anything that makes me the most nervous is to get him sick from what I do, so that's my biggest fear. After coming out of quarantine today, Governor Eric Holcomb resumed his normal schedule with care as he pushes for the state of Indiana to mask up and practice social distancing. Live in the studio, Tyler Drew in 44 News. Thank you, Tyler. Now, as many of us know, so many businesses did not make.